The 2019-2020 Australian bushfires ravaged the continent. At least 34 people died, billions of animals were lost, thousands of homes wiped out. The fires burnt about 19 million hectares, that's 70% of New Zealand. Even the Arctic was hit by unprecedented zombie fires in 2020. This is when flames smoulder underground, beneath the frozen surface, before rising up in spring. In Aotearoa, there are about 3,000 to 4,000 wildfires every year. You've likely heard climate change is making these wildfires worse. But how exactly? Firstly, we need to make one thing clear. Wildfires are very complicated. Sure, it might be very hot, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee a really bad blaze. A range of factors like fuel, typically trees or plants, and wind, determine if a fire becomes a raging inferno. There also needs to be a spark. Some wildfires are started by lightning, but the vast majority are started by humans. The thing is, there will always be sparks, lightning strikes, farming accidents, arsonists, or people throwing cigarettes out the car window. What climate change has done is set the stage for these sparks, making it easier for them to grow into very large and very dangerous fires. This is mostly down to rising temperatures. The planet's average surface temperature has risen about 1.2 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century. 1.2 degrees may not seem like a big deal, but there's this sciencey thing called vapour pressure deficit. This is the difference between how much water is in the air and how much water could be in the air. Let's explain. Hot air, being hot, wants to suck up moisture from things like plants and trees. And the quantity it can absorb grows exponentially as the temperature goes up. This means even a minute rise in air temperature can lead to a whole lot more water being drawn out. So if the vapour pressure deficit is high, the air wants to slurp up all that moisture from those plants, trees and bushes. They wither and die, becoming the perfect fuel for those pesky sparks. Scientists are learning more all the time about how climate affects wildfires. They've developed a new field of science called extreme event attribution, which, you guessed it, seeks to determine precisely how much blame should be directed towards climate change for particular events. One such study found that climate change increased the risk of hot and dry conditions that aided the Australian bushfires by at least 30%. So what about Aotearoa? We know over the last 20 years, some regions have seen fewer days of fire risk, some have seen more. Overall, though, the days with very high or extreme fire danger are projected to increase by an average of 70% by 2040. And it may well be places where fires don't usually occur that see the largest rise in days of extreme fire risk.